Welcome to another episode of Mexican The Kitchen. This time I'm making a soup that is very common. People do it and have it every day. It's very traditional. If you go to your grandma's place, you probably will have this at some point. I'm going to start with a couple garlic cloves. I'm going to cut a small onion into pieces and I'm going to chop three tomatoes into smaller pieces. How small? It depends on your blender. If you have a powerful blender, you don't have to chop them that much. If your blender is not that good, maybe you need to chop it into smaller pieces, because we're going to blend all of this. As I said, I'm going to start with my tomatoes, and I will throw them into my blender. I start with the tomatoes because they have the most water, and that will help us blend everything. Then I will continue with an onion and the two garlic cloves. For seasoning, I'm only adding salt and I'm adding it here. Once I have the ingredients and I have added the salt, I'm going to just blend everything and I will let it be there for a while so I make sure the mix is quite smooth. As you can tell, my blender is not the best and it took quite some time. So if that's the case with your blender, you can add a bit of water or you can just take everything, chop it into smaller pieces and throw it back. After a while, you will notice it starts blending quite easily. So I will just give it a few seconds and once it's ready, I will just set it aside and continue cooking my soup. Your mix might look a bit weird, this is how mine looks, don't worry, it's perfectly fine. For this soup, we need 1.5 liters of water or chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth ready, you can just add the water into a pot and use these chicken broth cubes. It is quite simple, you just have to follow the instructions on the package. I usually add one cube per half a liter of water, so in this case, three cubes are perfect. Just dissolve them in hot water and we'll set this aside for later. I will start with a pot. The pot is a bit hot already. I'm going to add some canola oil. This on medium fire, so at three or four out of six on my stove. Once I have my oil ready, I'm going to add 200 grams of pasta into my pot. I use this kind of pasta because that's the typical pasta you use for fideos. You can use whatever you like. It's the same process. Once you throw the pasta into the pot, just keep stirring, we don't want anything to get stuck, we don't want anything to get burned. We are trying to toast our pasta and give it a nice color, so just keep stirring, this process should be quite quick. After stirring our pasta for a while, you will notice it starts changing into this white color, and after that it starts getting a bit toasted, getting this darker brown color. That's exactly what we want, we don't want it to burn, because otherwise it will become bitter. So at this point, I'm going to add my tomato sauce. You have to be careful and you have to be quick because you're adding some liquid into a really hot pot. So it will just start jumping all over. It might make a bit of a mess, but that's why you have to stir as quickly as you can. We want to reduce some of this water and also we want to cook the tomato. You will start noticing how tomato starts getting a bit darker. It looks a bit nicer. You will also notice that the pasta begins to expand and this will become a bit of a paste. Just keep stirring, keep moving it for a while. We want this to start getting a bit darker and you will notice immediately how the tomato starts smelling quite good. If you have watched my other videos, you might have noticed how this tomato garlic onion base is quite typical for Mexican cuisine and it smells amazing when you throw it into a pan. This will cook for about three to five minutes, you will notice the tomato gets quite red. And at this point, I'm going to throw just a handful of coriander and I'm going to add my liter and a half of chicken broth. I will also turn the stove down. I will change it into a two out of six, so low fire. Now I will just stir everything once more. I will cover my pot and wait for about 10 minutes or until my pasta is soft. After 10 to 15 minutes, you can open your pot and you will see the bright red color. You will notice the pink color has changed into a completely different thing. It looks quite beautiful. The pasta is in a perfect spot. The coriander has given the soup a beautiful taste, very subtle, but really delicious. Now we can serve our soup and usually we serve this as a starter. This kind of soup is something everybody likes. A lot of people drink this in Mexico on a common basis. It's something kids usually love. Everyone eats this a bit different. They add some vegetables. Some people add some lime juice. Some people add a bit of mayo. So I hope you like this video. This is how I make sopa de fideos. This is a very common soup. It's something that people make for their everyday life. 
it's nothing fancy, it's something very quick, just a few ingredients. This is the kind of thing that if you go to your grandma's house, they always have that kind of thing. And it's just so simple, so quick. You can feed a lot of people with just a few ingredients, very cheap. But it's something that's really nice, especially if the weather starts getting a bit colder. These soups are perfect for that. I hope you try it at home. Press like, subscribe, share with your friends, all those kind of things. And see you in the next one.